I've been working on pianos for about 30 years now. And this is the first time anyone's ever asked us to do any real work on a square grand. I've taken dozens of these apart, salvaged a veneer and such from them over the years, but never actually worked on one. A client toured the South and played a lot of squares and a lot of antebellum mansions and she fell in love with the tone and so she looked around for one and found this one and I'm glad she got this one. Two reasons. A, it's in really well-preserved condition. Which means there's a multitude of headaches I won't have to deal with. And the other reason is this square piano. This is my square piano. It is, I believe, a Broadwood. If it's not a Broadwood, it's an incredible clone. However, there is a label on the uh, fall board that says Made for Wooden Company, Edinburgh, Scotland. So, I assume that that destroyed paper label there was a Broadwood label. If anybody can help me with that one, that would be great. I mean, I found the artwork, but I don't know if anybody can tell me how to tell if it's real. Anyway, this one's mine, and I would like to fix it up just because I fell in love with it. Found it at a piano mover's place. It was closing up, and this was going to the dump, so... That's why it's here. Anyway, this piano will allow me to uh, now have a little experience with the form without having to deal with the uh, advanced decrepitude of this other one. And it will give me an opportunity to, well, demonstrate some conservation techniques that uh, you know, we've developed rebuilding uprights and grands from the late 18th or late 19th century rather and this piano would be a great candidate for that type of walkthrough and I think I may be able to preserve pretty much everything here. And that would be this thing out of the way. Oh, goodness. The action, we'll take a look at that in a minute, but the action is in great shape. But I'm going to try and restore and reinstall the damper felts. Normally those would go into the trash, but... This is about conservation and restoration, so show how we work with those. Uh, there's a lot of felt that's got to go, but uh, anyway, the other thing I'm going to try and do 
is clean the original bass strings. Um, we've had great success cleaning copper wrapped bass strings. These are wrapped in iron and while they don't exhibit a lot of rust in any way, a little, but uh, iron and copper react differently. And, well, we're going to try and save these using a, a phosphoric acid bath. And if it works, yippee. If, if it doesn't, well, she's been forewarned. She may have to get a set of strings from Germany. So... I think I'll pull the action out. Let's take a look at that.